guys and girls, welcome to nightwise.com. Um, as usual, just uh, doing a little bit of video blogging from the car, hands on the steering wheel, eyes on the road, mind on the edge of real and cyberspace. And uh, I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about uh, my plans of getting a new phone and my sheer amazement at the phone market <laughs> these days. Looking to get a new Android phone because I don't have one at the moment and I should be a little bit cross-platform. Currently having an uh, iPhone 6s Plus, which is great, um, but I need to get something that runs Android again just to you know, stay abreast of things. So I've been looking around and um, it used to be simple. You used to have the very cheap phones and the expensive phones. Um, and that was great. You know, I was a geek. I would go for the more expensive phone uh, to get me uh, all the specs that I needed. And it was great. And it functioned fantastically. And all the non-geeky persons would go for, you know, the cheap phones. And they would hand you their cheap phone. You know, look, I have a smartphone too. And it would be terrible to work with because these cheap phones were plasticky, laggy, slow, and basically hell to use. You would go like, oh my God, how do you survive on these things? But hey, what the hell? Good, fine, no problem. Um, so I started looking out again. I thought like, okay, let me see what, what Android phone that, I, that I'm gonna get. And then I found three major tiers of phones. Low end phones, two, 300 euros, 200 euros, even, even cheaper. Which I thought, you know, nice. Looks, specs look pretty okay, but I'm not gonna go with this. Then you have the mid-range, and then you have the, the, the mid-range phones, around 500 euros, which have very decent specs. And then you had the flagship phones, which had become even more expensive than when I last looked, which I found amazing because I thought like, laws of consumerization says, specs go up in time and price goes down in time. But recently there's this crazy um, trend of making phones even more expensive. I saw this with uh, Huawei, tested some Huawei phones a couple of years ago. Great price point, lots of specs for that money. I was really pleased. And then the next bottle they brought out, they just kept, kind of kept the same specs. And it was the new model for the main phone, I think. And it just priced it up 200 euros because, you know, that was what the market was, was, was uh, giving for it. And I went, that's insane. I mean, if this is a successor to a model that used to cost 400 euros, the new model should cost 375, but no, it costs 600 euros for the same model and slightly higher specs. So for some reason, smartphones have become more expensive because people kind of give it, you know, give the money. And it's, it's amazing to see. Um, I'm looking at the, the phone market uh, these days and I go like, Low-end phones, crappy specs, not gonna do it. Mid-range phones, okay. And then you have the flagship phones. So I thought like, wow, the flagship phones are really expensive. I am looking at two times the price of a medium-range phone. I mean, 900, 1,000 euros. This thing has gotta be amazing. And it's not. The high-end phones, for some reasons, don't have a lot, the, the, more of more specifications or functionalities or specs than the mid-range phones to actually um, accommodate for the enormous difference in price. And this has been really confusing for me. I went like, okay, uh, I've been looking at the Huawei phones, which, which is amazing. You have the, uh, Huawei has, for example, the P10 and the P10 Lite, and the, the P20 and the P20 Lite. And the light phone should be the budget version of that flagship phone. And if you take a look at it for sometimes two thirds of the price, you only have to swap in a little bit of RAM, uh, perhaps in the memory, and maybe a megapixel on the camera, but mostly the specs are just the same. The other phone is just a premium phone, which is not spec'd out insanely more than the mid-range phone, but does cost insanely more. So I'm really kind of on the edge here going like, what the hell should I buy? I'm a geek, I should buy high-end phone because I need high-end specs. And that's not true anymore. I think that being a geek right now and being a tech connoisseur means that you go for the best value for money. 
because back in the days, all the noobs would go for the low-end phones and the geeks would go for the high-end phones. These days, all the noobs go for the high-end phones. I've seen people who can't afford to buy toilet paper in big packs because they're so dirt poor hug around an iPhone 8 or an iPhone X, which is an insanely overpriced device just for the sake of it. And the same is true with other flagship phones, and I've seen this, this, this trend coming along where people just, where brands just overpriced their top model phone because it's a flagship phone, but the mid-range phones are very, are actually a much better buy when it comes to price versus what you get, value for money. So I'm kind of looking for your advice, guys. You know, what would I buy? Would I go for, I don't know, um, a high-end phone? Would I buy, I don't know, the top-end phone of God knows what? Um, or would I go for a mid-range phone? Currently, I'm on the edge between a um, OnePlus 6, which is, you know, the high-end geek phone. And at 550 euros, it's, for me, expensive enough, comes with a lot of specs. And the uh, Motorola G6 Plus, which is a great phone when you take a look at specs, um, which comes at 329 euros, which is insane. And I go like, is is this enough? I mean, specs are good. Am I? Should I buy this? Um, am I? Isn't this just you know too too cheap? Am I am I not buying something that's crap? Because you know it looks good, specs are good, but it's so cheap. Can can it, can it be good? Are we judging the quality of a smartphone by its price or by its specs? That's the question. 